terrains are an essential element of 3D games. Especially for massive open world games, we can quickly design and build stunning environments and landscapes for players to explore. In this series, we are going to look at the terrain tools in Unity. I will summarize some of the tips and tricks when building terrains, and I will introduce some of the tools to make your development easier. There are multiple ways to design terrains. We can use external tools like modeling software, map generators to generate height maps and meshes, or we can even use algorithms to procedurally generate terrain meshes. But in this course, we're only going to focus on building terrains using the built-in, free and user-friendly utility provided by Unity. A terrain is basically a mesh. Here I'm introducing the terms vertex, triangle, and mesh. There's a strong relationship between the three. A vertex is a point in the virtual world. Each vertex contains a positional data, which is often expressed as a vector 3. When three vertices join together, they form a triangle. When one or more triangles join together, they form a mesh. A terrain mesh is initially a flat mesh, spanning in the x and z direction. When we edit the terrain using the terrain tools, we are basically adjusting the heights of the vertices in the y direction. The system then renders the terrain mesh based on the new vertex data, resulting in a beautiful 3D landscape. In Unity, when we use the built-in terrain tools to edit terrains, the data is saved as file assets. We can replicate multiple terrains with the exact same shape. That is an introduction to how terrain works and the terrain meshes. In the next video, we are going to set up the environment and to actually explore the different features provided in the terrain tools. I'm Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned!